Hey everyone, this is going to be the final review of the GTP 38 with the KC balance assembly in it. It's got probably about 8 to 10,000 miles on it and the only reason it has come off is because we got a really good deal on a GTP 38R with the ball bearings. Unfortunately that ball bearing setup has just a little bit of play in it and we're going to end up swapping it out with yet another KC product which is going to be the balance center section for the 38R. But anyway, as you guys can tell, get in here. Everything is nice and tight still, spins really freely, no in and out play. I mean, overall, really, really happy with this. The um, factory bearings had a little bit more play than this in them, and that's one of the reasons we did go ahead and do it, but I mean, it's beautiful. We run the stock air filter, so no saw blading the blades. Everything is nice and tight. Overall, really happy with it, to be honest. Um, is it the best look rate in the world? Eh, for the money, it's a pretty good bang for your buck. The uh, bill wheel on this, you do hear the whistle a little bit more than stock, but it's not atrocious. It's not like a wicket wheel tube or anything like that. It's definitely livable for somebody that tows or hauls, especially if you're running like a muffler and a stock air box. The spool up seems to be a little bit faster than stock, and it seems to pull just a little bit more on the top end. Not a huge amount, but once again, it's about the small things. It doesn't trade off anything as far as responsiveness. If anything, it seems to be a little bit more responsive than stock. And it's able to hold that power, or at least that airflow out a little bit further on the top end too. Anytime you can make a pound or two more boost and not really have any trade-offs, you're doing pretty well. Um, as far as EGTs go, it seems to help out a little bit. Once again, it's not like a huge dramatic difference as you would see if you had like aftermarket injectors and you were running a big like stage two or something like that but for a working truck for 450 dollars if your turbo is getting a little tired or you just want a little bit more for your stock turbo it really does seem to be a good setup so this one's actually going to a new owner we're selling it for 400 bucks which is a little bit more than what we got in it um you know i would have liked to gotten 500 because i have that in parts especially considering we have the EVP delete on the back of it, but we're helping a guy out, his turbo went out, and uh, this will get him back on the road. And given that I've got so many miles on it, I have no problem selling it because I've towed at least 2,000 miles personally with this turbo. If it was gonna give up, it would have given up going up and down the mountains of Virginia. So anyway, Casey, great product for a great price. Um, it's not crazy hard to rebuild, just getting some of those bolts out, especially if they've been in there, it can be a pain. Watch plenty of do-it-yourself videos, there's lots of them out there. Hope this helps y'all. As always, be safe, be kind to everybody, and all the way.